The first thing you're going to want to do is create a Google account. So if you don't have a Google account, you definitely want to create one. If you do, uh, you can go to the Dialogflow homepage at dialogflow.com and you can sign in by clicking on the button that says go to console. So it's going to be over to the right at the top hand side of the page. Uh, once you get there, you're going to want to click on the create new agent. Uh, below the video, there's going to be a video there, and below that is going to be a button a button that says Create New Agent. You're going to click on that button, and you're simply going to name your agent uh, all one word. Okay, so whatever you want the file name of your agent to be, you're going to click Create, uh, and then your agent is going to be created. You're going to show up on a page that looks like this uh, with your default fallback intent and your welcome intent. So what is an intent? An intent is the user input. So whatever the user puts into the box or whatever the user says, that is the intent of the user. With the default fallback intent, that is basically anything that the interface doesn't understand. Okay, so anything that you say that it doesn't understand is going to revert back to the fallback intent. Now, dialogue flow is a little bit more advanced as far as being able to connect the dots. Uh, you don't have to do near as much work to get a really good language interface. Now, when it comes to connecting the dots and the subject matter, the more work you put into it, the better off it's going to be, the better it's going to work. Um, so we're gonna start off today what I want to do is I want to create an AI interface for ChrisAI.com. Uh, ChrisAI works well, uh, it has good conversations, but it's not there to direct people on the website. And I need an interface that's going to be able to link with Google, that's going to be able to link with all of the home automation interfaces that are coming out. And that's the thing. That's why people want to build a language infrastructure is because right now does your website have the ability to communicate with your customer does it have the ability to talk to your customer the answer is probably no and you have no idea where to start in giving it that capability but that is the future and if it doesn't have that capability in the future if it's not able to answer requests that are made by the user vocally then you're going to be left behind. Your competition is going to figure this out. I can promise you your competition hasn't figured this out yet. You are at the forefront of the net sweeping change that is going to sweep the Internet and everything. It's called the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is going to change everything. And the Internet is going to become an interface in every aspect of your life from making your coffee in the morning to going to your refrigerator to cooking on your oven it's going to be everywhere with you and instead of accessing it on your computer screen you're going to access the information with your voice but if somebody accesses your information or tries to with their voice right now what are they going to get in Google Assistant for instance if I say to Google Assistant, pull up XYZ business, whatever your business is, what is Google Assistant going to do? It's going to go to Google. And it's going to pull up the search results. Do you have number one search engine rankings for your business? For the name of your business? Maybe you do. So all they're going to have to do is find a screen and click on it. But wouldn't it be easier if they could say to Google Assistant, I want to talk to XYZ business? And when they say that, your virtual assistant, your virtual agent pops up and says, hello, how can I help you? Wouldn't that be better? Because this is going to be everywhere you're not. Not only is it going to be on your website, but it's going to be in all of your messenger applications. It eventually, once you have a good language interface and a good voice to your language interface, you can integrate it into your phone system. And it will be able to answer every question on the phone just as good as a real assistant would. Just as good as a real person would. 
So the advantages in the future, it's not only going to make you more streamlined. It's not only going to save you time. It's not only going to save you money. The advantages in the future is that you are going to be able to easily integrate. You are going to be able to be called up. Let me talk to XYZ company, whatever your company is, and you're going to respond. Not a Google search result where they have to click on a link, but you, your agent with your message, with your vision. That's what we're creating here. And you want to put a lot of thought into it in the beginning. So the Chris AI interface concept may not be a good concept for you and your company, but we're going to go over every aspect of this. And I've already created a dialogue flow tutorial series. Uh, but I want to create another one and I'm, I'm going to drip this content on the new Chris AI YouTube channel uh, over the next couple of weeks. You guys are going to get, you know, tons of videos that are going to show you how to use this interface correctly. Um, and eventually by the time it's done, you're going to know everything there is to know about it. And like I said, if you want me to do all the legwork for you and brainstorm for you, talk to you on the phone, figure out what you're all about, figure out what you want to do with your interface, uh, I will be glad to do that. And I will go above and beyond. That's why we're doing this. I mean, that's why I'm putting together all these videos. You can do it yourself. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it yourself. But if you want help doing it, or you want me to do it for you, you want me to help you design your interface, be sure to fill out the form at chrisai.com and I will contact you and we can talk on the phone. First hour consultation is free. We'll figure it out. So you can go to, like I said, chrisai.com. You can fill out the form and we can go from there. So the first thing you're going to see is the two folders, the default fallback, which is anything that it doesn't understand, and the default welcome, which is hello, hi, how are you? all of the welcome intents that there can be. So if we click on the welcome intent folder, uh, there is no input here. So we're gonna have to add the input. We'll say, hi, hello, hi there, hello there, yo, hey man. And that short list should pretty much cover all of the different hellos. It's going to read in. So if somebody says like, hey there, dude, instead of hey man, um, or hey there, man, what's up? Uh, it's going to be able to connect the dots and make the welcome intent the priority. Okay, so when somebody says hello, that is the way an intent works. So it's an action. If somebody says to the interface or they input in text form uh, to the interface, hey man, it's going to respond with one of these responses down here. Now you can add as many responses as you want. And the more responses that you have, the more real it's going to seem. Okay. Cause these are going to be varying random responses where it will respond hi in a different way. Every time somebody says hello. Okay. Which is important. I mean, you want it to be conversational. You want it to sound real. You don't want to tell people it is real. But the more real it seems, the more comfortable people are going to be interacting with it. So the question you have right off the bat is, okay, if I want to make it conversational or directional, and by directional, I mean you direct the path of your client, how do I go about doing that? Where do I start? And Google, the dialogue flow interface has something really cool called small talk uh, that you can very easily integrate. So I'm going to click on this and we're going to click on enable small talk and small talk is going to give you some ideas um, and create intents for you. Okay. So who are you is a question that gets asked a lot. And this is a question that you might want to definitely answer. So let's say you have a pizza place and your pizza place, your AI is going to be a character. Okay, maybe you're going to make your AI uh, Waldo the pizza duck or something like that. You know, you're going to make a character uh, that is going to be your artificial intelligence. So 
when somebody says, who, who are you? You might want to respond with, I'm Waldo the Pizza Duck. You know, whatever you want to respond to when they say, who are you? Now, you can create all these variable intents yourself with uh, varying inputs, but who are you? Who are you, man? Who are you, dude? Who are you? In any of the variations thereof with just the who are you, uh, you're going to get pretty good coverage on that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be Chris AI the BizBot. I am the Chris AI business language interface. Okay, and I would make a variance of that. I am an artificial intelligence language interface named Chris AI Biz. I am an AI interface called Chris AI Biz. Actually, we'll call it business. Okay, how old are you? Now, you might want to give a response of how old you are as the programmer. You might want to give a response, our business was established in 1986. Okay, and you might want to, if you're directing the path, use the small talk option. And with all of these questions, use varying response based on the small talk. I am Chris AI Business Language Interface. I am here to help you with all of your questions about artificial intelligence. I can also help you learn how an interface like myself works. Ask me questions about artificial intelligence or how I work and how you can implement an artificial intelligence language infrastructure on your website. Okay, so I would give a varying response directing the conversation. So I'm letting them know uh, I, I specialize in artificial intelligence. I don't want my Chris AI BizBot pulling up information about the solar system, but I do want to make it conversational. You might not want to make yours conversational at all, but I still recommend you go into the small talk and create varying answers based on these common questions that people are going to ask. And there are quite a few of them. This is going to take you probably 30, 45 minutes to do um, more than that, an hour or two to do if you're well thought out about it. Okay, if you're going through and you're giving 15, 20 responses for everything that somebody says, and you should be doing that in all of your intents if you want it to be a good conversational interface. Okay, so in the next video, guys, we're going to look at the default fallback intent folder, and we're going to look at how to use that folder because it's one of the most important intent folders okay it really is I mean it's probably the most important because it's the backbone okay anything that the interface doesn't have an answer for it's going to resort back to that fallback and that fallback folder needs to have some really good conversation packed into it if you want your interface to be conversational if you don't you're gonna give simple instructions okay if you want the facts section say fact. If you want information about our products, say products. And I'm going to show you how to create all of these different pathways, how you can have conversation within the conversation, how you can keep the context. All of that is going to be in the upcoming videos. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, the first video in the series, hopefully you understand what an intent is and how to create an intent. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.